Hello friends, welcome back. We can add a links here into the uh, response itself, but how we can do that? So if you like first, let's see how these links have been prepared. So if you go to the post controller, so in the WP includes folder, uh, go to the REST API, uh, go to the uh, endpoints, and here we have post controllers, right? So if you go, uh, like since this is the our film uh, and the same uh, REST base, it's a film. So this get items will be execute, okay, as a callback function. Okay, so if you click on uh, go through the get items, okay, here this is the function which will prepare all the rest our response for list of the movies, okay. And if you go through the below, uh, they call this prepare item for a response. So they are just fetching all the per all like they execute a WP query, go through the for this loop, and they will just prepare item for a response, okay. So if you go through here. Uh, they are uh, they are just checking whether the what are the arguments we have to pass okay and if you go i think in the below um or below below yep okay now okay here you can see the prepare links okay so already we have a response uh cloud wp race response object they are passing the post id object and to the links and the prepare links you can see all the links self href collection about so similar you can see self collection about and for for author as well we have for author for the replies for version histories everything okay so these links are adding so how we can add this link so if you go back again so they call this add links function of the response wp race response if we go through here so you can see this is the wp rest response class and this is the function which will add uh, all the links and they again add links called the add link uh, singular method okay here we can call this one so how we can do this one so if you go to the uh, controller since uh, we have been like this is the default controller right we cannot modify this uh, core uh, like controller class right we we need some hook okay so i think if you go below you get the filter apply filters and you can see the rest prepare underscore and it will be called for the given post type so here we have our movie post type so we can add a filter to rest prepare underscore uh, movie and we are getting the response object uh, the post object and the request object so similarly what i have did is here i have created another um, callback function called mlb rest prepare movie where i am getting response post object and the request object and i am simply uh, and here add a connected filter works same so i'm for uh, con to avoid confusion i am using the add filter okay so now in this here i am getting the response i am getting the data and in the data, I'm checking whether the actor's meta information exists or not, because uh, if we want to add a links only if the actor's meta key exists and the data is exist. Okay. So, and since we have already registered a meta, that default control, post control will fetch the meta information as well from the post meta table and it will be added into the response. Okay. So, I, instead of getting again calling the get post. Uh, get post meta or uh, get post meta function uh, instead of that we can get it directly from the existing response so i have just get the data and i'm just checking whether meta actors key exists and if it's not added then simply return the response because we don't want to add the uh, information if it's not added and if it's there if it's added then i'm going through loop uh, uh loop through and using the person post id because it actually it's a id of the person post 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 type and here i'm adding a link so when we go to the add link here, it need a relative attribute link relation, either an IA and a register type and absolute URL. Okay. So what does that mean? So if you go here into the links uh, in the same info uh, handbook um, links here, okay. Add links to the REST API response. So you can see the registered link relation of INA. Okay. So these are the like uh, you can say the specifications okay link relations um, and similar link relations have been added so for example author it's available so if you go into the response you can 
say the uh, author and about collection self all these are the uh, available version history predecessor version all these available into these uh, specifications okay so you can all of see see here but some of it it's not available like the attachment okay that the uh, and uh, uh, these are it's not available and including the feature media too so these are are we have a custom uh, relation link or we can say compact uris okay so about a compact uris if you go back uh, here in the below we have uh, registering a compact uri okay and you can also register your compact uri uh, um, uh, using the filter using the rest response link uh, uh, like custom uris a compact uris filter okay and you can add it so uh, if you add if you provide this link then it will become the my plugin colon then my link okay so you can you can learn about this uh, from here but similarly we we need uh, we are adding the custom post type links right like we are adding the person post type uh, race routes into the links and it's already there so we we can use the default one so i am using this uh, here you can see this one http api w.org and then providing the post type okay so this will be replaced with the wp colon post type okay and then uh, into the link we need href okay so um, in the href we want to provide the url link right so here i am getting uh, generating the rest url using the rest get route per post and i it just need the post id okay so this function will get the id or the wp post object and it will prepare the rest route okay so we don't have to again add slash wp slash v2 slash person or anything we don't have to worry about that because we cannot add statically right if the rest base has been changed then how we can do that so wordpress already provides this function helper functions for us and that we can use okay so here i am i am using that and it only returned the slash wp uh, slash v2 and thing not the entire url and then we can pass that route to the rest url and which will create a rest url okay so again it will call the guest guest rest url and it will uh, append to the wp json or the whatever the re, uh, rest url prefix is there okay so this way we can get a rest url and now if we add only rest url then it will uh, again in the it will open all this data okay so if we i let me just showcase this one let me just comment it this comment it this okay and uh, i'm not here but let me just pause here okay and now uh, i'm i will talk about this in in some time okay so now we have provided the rest url and then we have added we have provided so these are the add additional attributes if you want to add okay to rest response additional attributes okay so additional in additional attributes i have added embeddable through and the post type so you remember like uh, we can add here something like embed and it will provide all the information about the uh, uh, the feature media url or this genre taxonomy url and everything right so we want to provide this embeddable this url whatever the links we are adding it should be embeddable so whenever this embed parameter passed then this links also have embeddable values okay i'm just passing the post type just to identify whether what is the uh, post type of this rest route okay to identify to for easy identification so now if you go here and not simple remove this field and click again and now we have this meta actors and under the links uh, below you can see this wp post type right and now post type person embeddable through and these are the urls okay so we have added the links and using these links were uh, in the front end we can easily call this rest uh, this rest api routes to fetch the actors or the person post relation which is related to the actors okay and if you pop if you add underscore embed underscore embed and send it so if you go here into the embeddable embedded okay so author and other the terms or uh, rest you uh, um, rest routes also have added with all the information embeds means it will extend all the links and it will respond it with the, all the uh, 
response of that particular uh, rest route links which are added under the underscore links property okay now you can see wp post type here and add a and we have all the information like dates log type link title excerpt content uh, and then again their uh, their links again right so these are the much more information uh for that and for, to avoid this one like we only need for example we only need the title and few information so what i can do is uh, i have uh, added a field so if you remember in the first video we have seen that to only get selected of the fields uh, we can pro provide the fields argument and its value is title link and time so i only need these three values okay and i am adding this query where uh, into the rest our person post rest route okay so now if you send it again and um, if you now into the wp post type okay so now you can see type link and title only and still you will see the links as well there is no way to remove the links we can we can remove with condition base but it's fine to not remove okay so we only need we only get the like only required data only okay because the wordpress uh, extend or uh, extend the embedded data of the given links okay and how wordpress is doing that so in the REST API, it's not that uh, it's making another request from the front end itself. Okay, it's returning this data from the server itself. So in the REST API, you can also make uh, another REST request through the PHP itself. Okay, so later on I will uh, showcase how it's how we can do that one. Okay, um, so this way we can we have added the links and we can have all the informations required into the front end. So we don't have to make another uh, per uh, to make to, to we do we have to, like uh, we don't have to make another rest api call again to fetch only the uh, actor's name like link and title and anything okay so uh, this way we can do this one yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress